Hey everybody, I just got my Spectrum Vega Plus in the mail from SMS Electronics. Can you see that? So uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. It came this morning. So. Open the packaging. Oh. Okay. On the back side is an invoice. <laughs> Unit value fifty dollars. See that? That's what the, that's all they say it's worth. Well, you can see, look at the box. It's been smashed up. You can hear it rattling in here. Of course, the ethical packaging, you know, we don't want to waste too much money. Oh, it actually looks like it's, it's like taped here. It's sticky. So there's a little tab okay everybody let's oh my spectrum stayed inside the paper exciting okay let's see what we got here Oh, it's smaller than I thought. It's a lot smaller. Here you can see this. I'm going to set this down. Watch my knife. Set that down. Let's, let's compare it to a PSP. So... PSP is my go-to gaming thing. I got the Vita, but the PSP works good. So it's pretty, pretty hefty. That feels pretty good. This thing feels pretty light. I mean, not super light, but light enough. Um, the screen is smaller, of course. It's not like a 16 by 9 screen. Um, it does does show Sinclair down here, like in a frosted uh, words. And let's feel the buttons. Hmm. Yeah, the buttons are pretty hard. I mean, compared to compared to a PSP, these buttons are awesome. So maybe we can do something about the buttons. I don't know. <laughs> Have to open it up. Um. Well. Let's look at the serial number. I have serial number 179. So 179. Um, I prepared, uh, prepared a memory stick with on the root, all the files are on the root of the directory. So I think it was, somebody said it was to, Front. I hope. Uh, the the light is showing on, but oh, there we go. Finally. Um, oh, there's the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Here, access. Oh, the left, right, up, and down is really stiff, too. Access SD card games. Uh, I don't know which button it is. One or two? Let's see. To push one? No. Two? I push two. 
and I push two again. Okay, well, it's not doing anything. Interesting. Um, let's make sure that I have this in the right way. Oh. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Okay, I, I think it's off now. The finger hold is here. You can go either way, but the way it's designed, it really does look like it's supposed to go this way, so you can catch the... It just slides in, it doesn't click in or anything like a Nintendo cartridge. Awesome. There we go. Let's go to the... Let's go to the game list of what's inside of here. There we go. Uh, I guess that's it. Comes with 1994, 10 years after, Albatrocity, Banger Management, Battery is Not Precluded, Bite Me, Coracle, Egghead, through Egghead 5, Haunted House, Izzy Wizzy, Loco Bingo, More T Vicar, Nifty Lifty, Quantum Gardening, and Stubborn Degullion. I don't know. Interesting there. Let's see. Let's just go with 1994. Here's the volume. I pushed S to start. Oh. Well, there's no C, but let's push the S. No. Uh, blue button, green button. Oh, whoa. What the? Heck. Oh, my God. Well, it's definitely loud. Okay. All right, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn it off. I push and held the button on the left here. So, this didn't quite seem to work yet. Could be the SD card, but I doubt it. I just gotta look at exactly what I'm doing. It's really hard to get out of here. Even with that, that's why I said I think that that, there we go. That's the way I put it in. It, you know, it's got like this finger area area here for your finger. So, set that down. And then, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to open it up because I know everybody wants to see inside. It's only four screws. Four Phillips screws. There's no security screws on here. just fell out. Oh, interesting. Okay.
All right. Not really much to see here. Lots of extra bits falling out. It's a Howell 3.7 volt, 1350 milliamp battery. Okay, 1350 isn't that big. The circuit board doesn't look horrible. It looks okay manufactured. Oh, and if we look at the, if we look here, you can see where the contacts are. That makes sense that the card would be going down in it. Um, so, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to spend some time putting this back together. Well, in a minute. I've got some other buttons that I want to try in here. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if the playability is any better after I experiment with it. I I'm going to experiment on this thing. I, you know, I'm going to keep it, but I also want to be able to play it. So, um, as it is right now, the, the buttons are not awesome. None of the buttons are. They're all really hard. And you can see this really thick, heavy rubber with the piezoelectric pads here that when you push the button, it, it sort of pushes. This is, a, this is really hard. I don't know. This, I, I mean, my Game Boy is better than this. So that's not really surprising, but so overall, I'd say that is it worth 110 pounds? No, uh, I would say 50 bucks. You know, it's worth exactly what they said it was worth. Probably about 50 bucks, if that. And th and and that's you know the playability isn't even really really there. So, I mean, I'm gonna have to experiment with it. But I'm just glad I got one. So, um, like I said, it was number 179, I think. Yep, number 179. So, hopefully they make more. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching.